they're just gonna be off the table. And I'm not gonna worry about it at all. So, yeah, at the very least, like, yeah, I mean, really, just being short is such a just like being skinny is so incredibly good, and you can just you can get away with a lot more stuff because short. And Pikachu exemplifies that to the nth degree because, oh boy, we've seen how many moves he can just pancake under. Of course, that won't matter as long as Zelda, instead of going for those big like, home run finishers, using Phantom, Forward Smash, like, and tools such as those, is going to be all, all that uh, Sourdough ends up needing. Oh, see, look at that right there. That... Sour spot on the forward air, not getting the combo. Oh, but does get the the upner hit. I don't think there is a sour spot on that move. But yeah, that, that's gonna take it for sourdough. There at is least a sock. There is a up sour is? spot on up air, or at least on Zelda up air. But they made it stronger recently, so it's kind of like Yoshi up smash sour spot, where it's not really a sour spot, but it's just like the second, the second, <laughs> the hitbox. second hitbox. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was one of the big buffs they gave to Zelda that she needed. Probably not, but she got them anyway. Oh, oh. going for the ledge trump there, despite Sourdough of not really feigning ledge all that much. Yeah, that was also like kind of late to go for the trump. You think at that point, yeah, see like right there, that was like more immediate, like you just grabbed a ledge, I'm forcing you to pick an option. Or before it was like you, you're already hanging on there for like a second. And the sooner you condition neutral getup, the better it is for Pikachu, because Pikachu has so many moves that catch neutral getup is. Oh my goodness! Man. Phantom catches that landing. It catches landing is one of the probably one of the best moves in the game at doing something like that. Incredibly safe, like safe way to be aggressive. Oh man, Sourdough does not look like he's letting up the gas at all. Yeah, when I when I mentioned earlier, Zelda might have a problem hitting Pikachu because he's so small. <laughs> like we just saw there again, fair and back air just don't seem to want to sweet spot on Pikachu. But the knight has no problem all hitting Pikachu. You see the size of that sword? That sword is like the size of two Pikachus. It doesn't matter. The knight will find you. This is looking like dash attack percent. If if Guap can even find his way in. Not seeing a lot of quick attack uh, as a means of getting around. And Zelda, one of the worst things about the character is that she can't really catch up with a lot of uh, a lot of other good, like solid, fast characters. So it, it can what it's what gives her a hard time against ZSS, Joker, like pretty much any character that has some amount of speed. And Pikachu can play to not get hit, but it just it doesn't seem like Guap is fully utilizing those tools. Though he may have the conversions on deck, we'll have to see. Not quite. Yeah, I think the I think the main issue is that, or the reason why uh, Wapo isn't really using quick attack like that, is just because the knight's usually out. So I think they're just afraid of getting hit by the knight, especially when you're at 158, your last stock. Like the, a wrong quick attack and a knight just kind of stabs you. It's, oh my, like, it's still 150, not killing at center stage, like. That's death. Yeah, that's the, yeah. you're you're dead from up throw, forward throw. You you wouldn't be dead from back throw, but it could would have been a hilarious di mix up. <laughs> that would have been disrespectful, honestly. Would Going be funny though. There. I would have laughed. Am I easily amused? Maybe, but Sourdough takes game one regardless. Yeah, I think the the whole time Guapo uh, was just. If the knight was there, Guapo would normally get up and immediately hold shield, like the whole game. So Sardo kind of caught on to that by the end of the game and realized, all right, this is like, like I'm very confident on this shield right here, so I'm just going to grab him up throw to close the game out. Yeah, Zelda is... They, they, there's a way, for a lot of characters in this game, they, you have to play their matchup a little bit differently, and Zelda is absolutely one of those characters. As you can't just bully Zelda in a lot of ways. She has a really good com she has just, she has really good combo breaking tools. She has really good keep away game. But getting that lead and getting that first initial momentum as thank you Oxred for the follow. 
that's going to be what gives, what can potentially gain Guapo his game two, or his game three, as we might be actually seeing a switch to Sonic here. Yeah, another thing I think is that, like like you mentioned, playing the other character's game, like Pikachu usually would like, just kind of chill, throw some t jolts if they wanted to. But the knight's always there in front of Zelda, or sometimes in front of Zelda. And you can't really do that. The knight just doesn't care about your thunder jolts. It'll just go through them and hit you. Like, I feel like that the way the knight at fully charged swipes up is like just perfect for catching Pikachu at that angle where he's usually throwing out thunder jolts. So, uh, again, another example of why Pikachu kind of has to play, like run the gauntlet of getting past Zelda, or uh, at least the knight. And uh, we do, in fact, see the switch to Sonic. Uh, if he's looking to run circles around Zelda, there's no better character at this point. And if he's looking to not even interact with Zelda at, so at a certain point, Sonic can do plenty of that, too. It's, oh, ooh, that favorite guy was nice. Yeah, see, look at that. that, that just gr The amazing ground speed kind of threatens Zelda a lot more. Where, at least in neutral, she's going to have to think twice about calling the knight, just because you might get stuffed out. I mean, oh my goodness. What was, it, that was some fuzzy eye of that forward air. And, you know, you were you mentioned prior, like, how much of an advantage Pikachu has for being, uh, for being short, just avoiding a lot of those lightning kicks. Uh, Sonic is quite a bit taller. Not that tall, I, mean, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not not that tall, but still, like, we, we got one, which is already a lot better for lightning kick hit percentage. The Nehru's that was great. love. The latest Nehru love, so delayed. Oh, that I like that. <laughs> that that was <laughs> to put his hoping attack. That was great. Yeah, you can't hit me if I'm not even there. <laughs> Forward air would do it. Yeah, that's that's just a the truest of true combos. Spin charge into forward air off. That, that's absolutely gonna be killing. And now Sonic can play his game. He doesn't have. Sonic is one of the best characters at making a lot from a little, and he can gain space so quickly by just <laughs> being super fast and being able to go through shields like that with his spin charge. Did, did Sonic just duck the dash attack, or or would or what is just a whiff? Perhaps both. Oh. Wow, he really, he's really going for these back guys when he really doesn't need to. Oh, there's another lightning kick landed. See, one of the one of the things about Sonic that I always find rather interesting is that this is a character that almost never needs. To put himself in danger. Uh oh. Luckily, he has that wall kick. Oh my goodness! Sonic just did not care about the knight. <laughs> I guess. How do you beat such an oppressive online tool? You pick the oppressive online character. Sonic is showing what the the a resurgence of his meta means. Oh, great parry. He's not letting him get away with homing attacks, which just means Guap is gonna have to take this... He's gonna have to take his aggression when Sourdough gives it to him, which is perfectly fine, because oh he God. has the lead. Yeah, whenever Zelda calls out Din's fire, it's, um... Like, I, it, they threaten you to jump into it. Like, the mix-up is either they follow you drifting down low, and you try to double jump over it, or they, like, predict that you're gonna double jump over it, and then aim it high. It's... Maneuvering Din's fire is kind of the tricky part, because you... While it's great at being in advantage, it only can really go in one way, which is what makes it, uh... It makes it fine. It's not exactly something... Oh. And speaking oh. of not exactly something, that was not exactly some good DI. <laughs> <laughs> that was not exactly something I was expecting to kill. <laughs> I I get what Sourdough was going for there, because they were hit with the same confirm earlier in the game. It, that took stock one, just spin charge into fair. So 
I assume they were holding in during that confirm, so they tried holding out, uh, maybe perhaps even down in a way to have the fair miss completely. Uh, alas, it's still connected, and Sourdough was caught with the wrong DI right up against the blast zone. And then, yeah, the Sonic, the Sonic counter pick. It, if there's any situation where it's gonna work, it's gonna work now. Yeah, I think it's just the over like Sonic presence and neutral, and like the ground speed is like so good at just stuffing out those night calls that I think Pikachu just Pikachu probably can also like do that too. But uh, the way Guapo was playing, Pikachu wasn't really taking advantage of that. So I think the character switch really helped out there. Absolutely, which is what makes me think we're definitely going to. We're definitely going to a different stage, something where Knight can be a little bit more oppressive. Something like Smashville. Yeah, I think a smaller stage. You know, Battlefield, this is actually perfect. This, is, no, this ain't Battlefield, this is FD. And oh. FD. Why, did I, why did I say Battlefield? Excuse me. Uh, yeah, I mean, the Knight just covers the ground, and there's nowhere else for you to go. There's no platforms. So like like you mentioned earlier, how good Knight is at catching landings. That might That's going to come into play a lot on this stage, especially. Okay, counterpoint. This is Sonic's best stage by a mile. That is true. Sonic is doesn't true. have, and the reason it's his best stage is because there's no reason, there's no way for the opponent to stop him from spin dashing and spin charging back and forth and back and forth. As we see, spin dash often flies right by a fully charged knight before the hitbox can even come out. So while the percent lead is in Sourdough's favor right now, I can only wonder for how long. Oh, that <laughs> We're just laughing at the ex the incredibly raw energy that comes from like drop shield charge F smash. <laughs> okay, God, you got it. Yeah, you got, <laughs> you it. got, you got it. it. Oh, okay. Good narrow out of shield. Still looking for these reads and missing his dash on the on the grab attempt. Up uh, no, not trying to overextend, and you, I respect that. Wop is looking for the damage that he can get absolutely without having to even worry about Nehru's love. And as soon as Sourdough can commit to something like that, that's where he'll get those punishes. Whoa. Yeah. Sourdough looking to cover jump more often than not, so rolling right by the rolling right by the knight is gonna end up. Oh, that was a great tomahawk grab. Oh, okay, yeah. That's the thing. Like, you gotta be, you gotta make sure you're always uh, looking out for Zelda double jump up there by the ledge. Like, you can set up like a pretty, like you can position yourself for a ledge trap, and ha you just gotta make sure it's a little bit further in the stage so Zelda can't up air you. And then when she teleports the ledge, you can just walk up a little bit to the correct spacing. Guap never wants to be on the same stock as you. But I, we're on even stocks despite my 100% lead. Time to go as deep as I can for these <laughs> back airs. You, you gotta go fast. You gotta, you gotta take these stocks quickly. Just living the, the Sonic life. I mean, Sonic in his games is very, very different from Sonic in his... Uh, it's, it's the, the Sonic in his own game, not really what Sonic, how Sonic usually plays in, in Ultimate. I mean, just decisions like that, though, is what got him to 94 in the first place. Just willingly putting himself in dangerous situations when Sonic as a character isn't really built for that. He's a little bit lighter than you expect, and he doesn't do well on the approach, though that was a phenomenal mix-up. Just using the raw empty hop in order to confirm that back throw. Pretty solid way to get that kill. You just have to wonder, what if? Oh, okay, yeah, that's a tough spot to be in. A tough angle, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> he was yeah. pretty sure he was dead, even if he didn't blast him. Oh, again, ne good neighbors love to help. Um... Sourdough, get back on the stage. Man, Sourdough is playing so much better in the latter half of this game. He's really figured out 
like how to how to stuff Guapo Sonic and how to make every and how like what kind of situations Guapo's gonna put himself in, like how he'll react defensively afterwards. That down tilt was pretty nice though. Yeah, nice check because we saw Sardo use like stuff like Nair as well to get back off from ledge, and that kind of just stuffs yeah, it out yeah. before it can even happen. Yeah, I mean that's the Zelda classic sometimes. You just F smash in your face, dash back, F smash again. Like it's very it's very hard to just